Okay, so um, basically the reason why we want to do this is to have you describe the importance of the coronavirus and why you're doing this whole bit. Okay, so um, everyone's aware of the hot topic of the coronavirus and so the official name of this virus is called um, SARS coronavirus 2 and the disease that it causes is called COVID-19. And it's the seventh known coronavirus to actually infect humans. Four of them cause the common cold. There's one that's called the SARS-1 from 2002. And then 2012, there's one called MERS, which is the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome. And now this one. And why is this different? Well, this virus is completely different to the other coronaviruses, is the way it enters the human cells. Most coronaviruses enter the cells through a receptor called the ACE2 receptor and this gives it a little bit of a process to enter into the, um, to the cell. The, um, the, this coronavirus, the uh, SARS coronavirus 2, what it does is it actually activates a human enzyme which is an endopeptidase and it activates one of its um, proteins and causes, basically causes the, the, the virus to merge into the, the, the membrane of the human cell and then dump the contents in. So it's much quicker in entering the cells and they say in the paper I read uh, from China that this method is a hundred times more um, infectious. And, and more efficient in entering the cell. And this is one of the problems. And so the other problem with this is that it mutates very quickly. There are not many people, you know, I've been reading a lot about it and there was one report of a person who had it, got over it, then got it again. And so what does that mean? Well, if you have any virus or a bacteria and you get over it, it means you've developed immunity to it because your immune system's activated and killed the, um, either the virus or the bacteria. If you get it again, it means the, the virus is mutated enough to avoid the antibodies and the, the, the B cells and T cells that would kill it normally because it, that, that they won't recognise it and your body will treat it like a completely different virus. So this, this, these are two points that make this virus quite uh, dangerous and, and the reason that it's uh, much more infectious and, it's, and they're saying it's a pandemic or becoming a pandemic. Um, it's not, there's a lot of fear generated by it. The death rate at the moment is about 2.3%. And normal influenza virus is about 0.8%. So it's three times more deadly than uh, a normal flu virus. But that's but 2.3% means that 97.7% of people are actually getting over it. But this, the symptoms are quite severe. Um, once I had all this information, in, in true typical NK fashion, I've actually put together all the... Um, all the formats and a protocol that targets this, that targets the virus. I, I, I did formats for the seven coronaviruses that infect human cells. Um, and then also looked at the, the enzyme activation. And then also the immune response um, that happens with the, you know, you need to develop the, the B cell for humoral or immunity in the blood and also your T killer cells that will kill the virus infected cells and natural killer cells as well, which can kill virus infected cells. So that needs to happen. But also I was sent another paper uh, by a friend of mine, Carrie, and she sent me a paper on the, um, the pathogenesis of the, this new coronavirus and it actually listed all the interleukins, which are pro-inflammatory interleukins, that have been found in high numbers in the people who are infected by this. What does that mean? It means the macrophages are in the M1 phase, which is they're in pro-inflammation phase, and they're releasing all these pro-inflammatory uh, mediators. So that'll be important. The other thing that'll be important it will be the uh, resolution of inflammation, which is a different course that I've written recently, which will be coming out later in the year. 
And so these are the things we, we'll be looking at with, the, um, with this coronavirus. And so having all this information, I've put together a course, a one-day course for people who practice NK, so they can use the NK formatting and target actually this and use it uh, with their clients or even as a prophylactic for balancing people. So, you know, to, you know NK is not a, a therapy, it's, it's a stress management system. So the idea of the course will be to remove stress from the system so we can, um, you know, help people and boost, de-stress the immune system specific pathways to do with this virus. That, that would be the idea of it.